I am again back with the crochet rug video tutorial. You can use this as a crochet blanket, crochet mat, rug or table mat. You just have to decide the number of foundation chains you want for this. Okay. You can even make a blanket out of this technique. These are such beautiful borders. You can use it for any baby blanket as well. Okay. So let's get into the video. For this project, I have chosen a Red Hat Super Saver Ombre Sea Coral and Keron Simply Soft Times Square. I'm going to use 4.5 mm crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needle, and inch tape. So I'm going to start with the slip knot. I made a slip knot now. Our foundation chains should be multiple of three okay so you have to make however length you want but it should be in multiple of three okay i'm going to make 66 chains for this project okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay i'm going to make 66 chains and then i'll meet you i have made 66 chains now So we are going to make a double crochet fifth chain from the hook okay so do not consider this as anything okay yarn over now count five one two three four this is the fifth chain so i'm going to the fifth chain making a double crochet okay so for this row for this complete row we are going to make one double crochet in each of the chain okay so we'll make one double crochet one double crochet so we don't have to count anything we just have to make one double crochet to the entire row okay so i have started with 66 chain so at the end of this row i should have 63 double crochet okay so if you made however chains in the multiple of three at the end of this round you should have the number of chains you made minus three to the total number of your double crochets okay so just make one double crochet in each i'll meet you at the end of the row i have completed making one double crochet i have completed making one double crochet in each of the foundation chain okay so at the end of the first row i have totally 66 double crochets okay okay so at the end of the first row i have 63 double crochets okay i've chained up 66 worked from fifth chain of the hook one double crochet each so i should have 63 double crochet not 66 okay so to start the second row we are going to chain up three one two three and turn the work now this chain three is considered as a first double crochet now go to the second chain take both loops and make a double crochet okay go to the third chain make another double crochet so we made three double crochets in a row now we are going to skip one chain and go directly to the second chain and make a double crochet make double crochet double crochet okay so we made again three double crochet in a row now we are going to yarn over we are going to the skipped chain okay the chain where we skipped we are going to take both the loops just check both loops are in there then you make a double crochet okay so you will get this kind of formation this is called a raised double crochet okay now again we are going to repeat this so skip one chain now make three double crochets one in each so we made three double crochet now it's time to make a raised double crochet so yarn over go to the skipped position and just make sure you picked both the loops pull up the loop yarn over complete two and yarn over complete other two so you have a raised double crochet so the repeat formation is this one so skip one and make three double crochet one in each then 
we have to make a double crochet from here to that skipped position making sure to pick both the loops okay so we started with the chain 3 and turned we made one double crochet one double crochet skip one then three double crochet one in each then a raised double crochet so again same skip one three double crochet and a raised double crochet skip one three double crochet raised double crochet so skip one three double crochet then raised double crochet. so likewise we are going to do for this entire row except the last three chains okay so the last three chains will get three double crochet i'll meet you before that so you make the same repeat until you have three chains left i'll meet you there i'm about to complete the second row i have four more chains left okay uh, so these raised double crochet sets i have 14 sets and initially i have three double crochet okay so now we're going to skip one for the rest of the three chains we are going to make one double crochet each okay so we are not going to make first and last of the row we are not going to make a raised double crochet so we initially made only normal three double crochet the same way we are going to complete normal three double crochet okay so to start the third row we are going to chain three it's considered as one double crochet now we are going to turn our work and it's very simple uh, this entire project is constructed based on the previous two rows okay so for this row we are going to make one double crochet in each of the chain okay so just make one double crochet each okay i'll meet you at the third at the end of the third row the fourth row is nothing the same second row repeat as the fourth row okay so these two row are we are going to con construct alternatively to build our work okay at the end of this row i'll meet you and again once again we'll see how to make this row i have completed the third row by making one double crochet in each so totally i have again 63 double crochet so now we are going to start the fourth row which is the repeat of the second row so we have to chain three and turn our work then we have to make one double crochet in next to two chains so we got our first normal three double crochet set then we are going to skip one and we are going to make a three double crochet set okay so now it's time to make our raised double crochet so we are going to yarn over we are going to the skip the chain space we are going to catch both the loops making a raised double crochet now again skip one make a three double crochet set then yarn over come to the skipped position catch both the loops make a double crochet okay so your even rows are going to be the skipped double crochet thing and you will make till four chains left then you will skip one chain and you will make normal three double crochet set to finish the even row okay so you are going to construct like this alternatively double crochet row and this raised double crochet row okay so just make it however length you want but you have to end it with odd number of rows okay so you have to end it with this double crochet row so i'll make these rows alternatively until i reach my desired length then i'll meet you guys see how beautiful this texture is looking so i have completed the desired length i have made totally 47 rows ending with a double crochet row it's 29 inches it measures 29 inches okay now we are going to do the border so so we are going to work single crochets all the way four sides in the corners we will be chaining two more okay so now i'm chaining two and i'm going to this double crochet okay i'm going into it making a single crochet 
then to the end making a single crochet okay so for every double crochet we are going to make two single crochets okay so the joining space will be there there we go inside and make a single crochet and to the connecting place make another single crochet see how this is looking right so each one gets two single crochet so all the way you make two single crochet for this okay so just make single crochet all the way when it comes here you have to make two chains and then again start making single crochet this way okay I just made the first side so now I'm in the corner so I'm going to chain two okay so for this side the initial chain we made right so we're going to make here we are coming to this first making a single crochet So we are going to make only one single crochet on this side okay so on the width wide where you have the double crochet you are going to make two single crochet okay but in this side we are going to make only one single crochet again the side where we have double crochet side we are going to make two single crochet for each double crochet when we end we will be again making one single crochet each okay so don't forget to make two more chains for the corner space okay so just continue do it i'll meet you at the end i have completed single crocheting on the all the sides now we'll begin to make the border design after completing the single crochet round i'm going to use this color okay so you can join from anywhere i'm just taking a middle space I'm joining this yarn okay I'm chaining up three one two three consider as one double crochet okay so for this round we are going to make one double crochet in each of the single crochet okay so you shouldn't forget to make two double crochet in the corners okay we made two single crochet right additionally in each corner so you have to go and make Two double crochet in that corner space as well okay so just continue to make one double crochet for each of one single crochet I'll meet you at the end of this row okay. I've made double crochet on all the sides I'm about to complete it so I have one more double crochet left so making one double crochet then I have to slip stitch to the chain 3 top okay Okay, so I have slip stitch so I've completed the first round of border so now to start the second row we are going to chain up three one two three consider as first double crochet okay then we are going to make six more double crochet okay so second one third fourth fifth sixth seventh Okay, so counting with this chain 3 we made total 7 double crochet now chain 2 skip 1 chain to the second chain start making double crochets okay so make total of again 7 double crochets okay 3 4 5 6 7 so now again we are going to repeat chain 2 skip 1 to the second chain we are again going to make 7 double crochet okay so our repeat is like that 7 double crochets 
chain 2, skip 1, 7 double crochet, chain 2, skip 1, 7 double crochet. Okay, so just repeat this step all over this mat and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I have completed making these 7 double crochet, chain 2, skip 1, 7 double crochet. So I'm in the end of the round, so I've made 7 double crochet, so I have to chain 2, I have to skip 1 and I have to slip stitch to the initial chain 3 top. Okay, now we are going to start the third row. I'm going to slip stitch one more time to reach the next space. Okay, so I'm again going to make chain 3. So it's considered as one double crochet. Now I'm going to make four more double crochet. Okay, one, two, three, four. So including that chain 3, it's five double crochet. Okay, now chain 2, one, two. Now skip these two, come to the chain 2 space, make a double crochet. Okay, then chain 2 again, skip the first double crochet, go to the second one, make a double crochet. Make 4 more double crochet, so totally 5 double crochet. So 5 double crochet, chain 2, in the chain 2 space 1 double crochet, Again chain 2, then skip first, from the second one make 5 double crochet, okay. This is our repeat, 5 double crochet, chain 2, make a 1 double crochet in the chain 2 space, again chain 2, skip first double crochet, from the second one make 5 double crochet, okay. Just repeat this again and again, I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I'm about to complete the third row by making chain 2 and slip stitch to the Initial chain 3 top. Okay. So we are now we are going to begin our fourth row. So we are going to slip stitch one more time. Okay. Now we are going to chain 3. It's considered as one double crochet. Now go ahead make two more double crochets. So totally we have three double crochet. Now we are going to chain one. Okay. Then we are going to this double crochet top and we are going to make a fan. So a fan is two double crochet, chain one, two more double crochet in the same space. Okay. So on this double crochet top we made two double crochet, chain one, two more double crochet. Now chain one. Skip the first double crochet from the second double crochet make three double crochet now chain one come here make a fan so two double crochet chain one two more double crochet chain one so now this is our repeat so after chain one skip the first double crochet make three more double crochet chain one in the double crochet top make two double crochet chain one two double crochet chain one skip the one make three double crochet okay so just repeat the steps again and again and complete this row i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm going to complete this row so i'm going to chain one and slip stitch to the initial chain 3. So now we are going to the fifth and final row of the border. So we are going to the next stitch and making a single crochet. Okay, not a slip stitch, we are making a single crochet and chain 1. Now we are going to the fan. Of first double crochet making a double crochet then chain three one two three and we are going to make a picot okay so for that you have to come to the single crochet first chain one okay catch the two and make a single crochet okay 
same way go to the next double crochet make a double crochet then chain 3 connect this and make a single crochet now you have a chain 1 space there also make a double crochet then chain 3 and then make a pike or single crochet now coming to this side leg make a double crochet chain 3 and pi cord single crochet right now one more double crochet left so double crochet chain 3 and complete with the single crochet pi cord okay so in this leg we made totally five double crochet and five pi cord okay in the same double crochet last double crochet we are going making we are going to make one more double crochet okay double crochet and chain one and come to this one skip the first double crochet coming to the second double crochet make a single crochet and chain one. okay so this is going to be our repeat okay so after this coming here double crochet chain three by cord double crochet chain three by cord even in the chain one space double crochet chain three by cord double crochet chain three by cord double crochet chain three by cord and again one more double crochet and chain one and skip this one and make a single crochet chain one okay just repeat the steps you will get this kind of a format okay so just complete this entire row i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm about to complete this final row i've made all these beautiful things and i've made a chain one and i have to slip stitch with the first single crochet I've made okay so slip stitch and i'm making one more chain Just making it a little bit length and then making it off okay so i just have to hide this then our crochet mat rug or the table mat is ready our crochet mat rug is now ready i have hide the yarns so now you can see the full look of it see how nice these border I hope you liked and enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know your comments, suggestions. If you make such a beautiful crochet mad rug, please do share with me in Marathi Crochet Facebook page or even in the community page of my YouTube channel. I'll meet you with another useful tutorial. Until then, bye-bye. Ta-ta.